When you think of light, do you think of light as a particle or as a wave? It turns out that light can behave both as a wave and as a particle. Thus, we have the expression wave-particle duality. So light can behave as a wave. Perhaps you heard of the term electromagnetic waves. Light is a type of electromagnetic wave. It has oscillating electric and magnetic fields. So thus it's called an electromagnetic waves. Now these oscillating electric and magnetic fields, they are at right angles to each other. Like any wave, light has amplitude. It also has a wavelength and it has frequency. For instance, red light has a wavelength somewhere between 620 and 700 nanometers. Blue light has a wavelength somewhere between 450 and 500 nanometers. So the color of light varies with its wavelength and its frequency. Another proof that light can behave as a wave has to do with the diffraction patterns that it can form. For instance, let's say if you have two slits or two openings and a screen at the back, if you were to shine a source of light to the left of those two slits, what's going to happen is you're going to get a diffraction pattern. As these plane waves, as they interact with this opening, and they will diffract. Now, as these waves bend around the opening, they're going to create an interference pattern on the screen. And so what's going to happen is you're going to get areas where it's bright, and you're going to get areas where it's dark. So let me draw a few of these patterns here. So this part is going to be a bright spot. It's going to appear light. Above and below it, you're going to have a dark spot. And then above that, you're going to have a bright spot. Same is true over here. You might be wondering, why are we getting these alternating bright and dark spots? And the answer to that is interference. The bright spots represents constructive interference. And constructive interference occurs when the wave or the two interfering waves, they're in phase with each other. And so they reinforce each other, the amplitude is doubled. The dark spots, they represent destructive interference. That's when two waves, they cancel each other out. They're out of phase. And only waves can show this behavior. And because light can produce these constructive and destructive interference patterns, it's proof that light can act as a wave. But light can also behave as a particle. And this has been seen in the photoelectric effect. So let's say you have a piece of metal and you shine blue light on it. Blue light has enough energy to eject electrons off of certain metals. Now the ability of a photon to eject an electron depends on the frequency. Red light doesn't have enough energy or its frequency is not high enough to eject electrons from certain metals, but blue light can. But the fact that light can knock off electrons from a metal, it shows that light can behave as a particle because it can knock off another particle from a metal. So thus we have this idea of wave particle duality. This is where light has a dual nature it could behave like a particle. Particles of light are known as photons. And these photons can behave like waves. 
they could form a diffraction pattern around two openings. Now, electrons behave the same way. Electrons, like photons, are very tiny particles, subatomic particles. The difference between an electron and a photon is that an electron is a charged particle, whereas a photon is neutral. But like photons, electrons have a dual nature. They can behave like particles, and they can behave like waves. If you were to basically blast a stream of electrons around two openings, it can form an interference pattern, much like what we see here on the screen. So because electrons, like photons, can form that same constructive-destructive interference pattern of alternating light and dark spots, Electrons, therefore, are proven to behave as waves. So both electrons and photons have this wave-particle duality. In some instances, they can behave as particles, and in other situations, they can behave as waves.